welcome to Living Life with Purpose. I'm your host, Phil Foster. Well, it's Friday here in Athens, and I just want to take a minute to remind you to get out to church somewhere this weekend. If you're in the Athens area, you know we'd love to have you here at New Life. We meet at 1030. Well, last Sunday I began a series, and I'm talking about the Holy Spirit. Now, most people know something about the Father. Most people know a lot about Jesus, but a lot of people really don't know a lot about the Holy Spirit. The Bible very clearly refers to God as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Many times I'll say something to this effect. I say, Father, today, lead me by the power of your Holy Spirit. Lead me, guide me, and direct me. The Bible's full of times and situations where the, it would say something like, the Spirit forbid them to go to Bithynia. So maybe the Apostle Paul and them were going over here to preach the gospel and, and sense the check in their spirit would go another direction. Where they, you'll read something like, it seemed good unto us and the Holy Spirit. So God was trying to dispense uh, knowledge. And, you know, an example of how this worked is one time I was in the hospital. For years I served as a volunteer, as a chaplain. Today I actually and split my employment between the church here and the hospital. And I was getting ready to leave one day, and I sensed a check in my heart, and I felt the Spirit wanted me to go to a room, actually room 302. There was a young girl in there, and she was had just been uh, given a terminal diagnosis. Things were looking very bleak, and she had been on the phone with her aunt. We said, well, maybe today uh, a chaplain or a pastor would come to visit you. This girl was in her probably late 20s, no real spirituality about her, no, no, uh, she wasn't a believer. And she uh, was in there and I'd come in to her room and she told me this story and, and she said, you know, God, if you really exist, could you send someone like my aunt talked about today to my room? And I walked in there, was able to, to share the love of Christ with her, tears rolled down her eyes. It was a blessed day and it was just remarkable to see how the Holy Spirit led me to that encounter. Well, look, I'm out of time for today. I have more to say on this, but until we get together next time, may God bless you, and hey, have a great day.